public service announcement, man. Your boy looking good, beard looking good, fresh chop. Um, if your mama is a MILF and she's preferably a judge or a nurse and she a Nubian, hit me up, man. Just go ahead and uh, follow me on IG, Twitter, or something like that. Go ahead and get it cracking, bro, because <sighs> your boy trying to be somebody's stepdaddy. I ain't gonna lie here. But anyways, um, I just want to spend today or whatever. I ain't really do nothing today. I um, didn't go to class because it was raining earlier this morning. Plus, I was tired, man. I've been tired this whole week. I had a test yesterday, but it, it's been it's been kind of crazy or whatever. So, me and my mama had a debate, and we always having debates all the time, all the time. This time, we're talking about my niece. My niece keep getting in trouble at school. I ain't gonna say she she's not a bad kid. It's just that my niece is the only child. And we don't have no other kids in the family. I don't have no kids, which I ain't never having kids. That, that's a discussion for another day. And my brother too young to have kids. And we're not really that close to none of our cousins. Even if I, none of our cousins really have kids except for what? Maybe one, she just had another baby, but we're not even that close with them like that no more. So she don't really, my niece don't really have anybody to play with that's her age. So when she goes to school, that's her interaction with kids. Like, of course, we, we're humans. We're social people. We love to talk. So, if she's isolated, basically, every day when she's at home, whenever she's around kids her age, of course she's going to talk. She's going to run her mouth. So, she gets to school and she sees her friends, you know, and she, boom, she wants to talk, you know, because she knows when she go home, she doesn't have anyone to talk to like that. You know, like someone her age she can play with. So, um... She keeps getting in, you know, the teacher keeps telling she talks too much, this and that. And I and my mom, they're getting frustrated. they like, I keep saying my mom, I don't call them, my mom. My mom uh, was like, she's getting, my mom and them getting frustrated because the teacher keep contacting them like she's getting in trouble. She keeps talking, this and that, this and that. And she's a smart, my, my niece is smart. But it's just that we're humans. Like, so whenever you get around people, you're going to talk. That's why whenever, like... They send people to jail and stuff like that. Whenever you get in trouble in jail, they do isolate you because they know that drives you crazy. My mom and them getting frustrated because she keeps talking. She keeps she keeps she keeps getting in trouble. Like they're like, oh, you don't know how to act, this and that. We taught you better than this, this and that. And I'm like, how about y'all? First of all, first thing I told them, I was like, you know, it was exactly why I just explained that she's human. You know, she doesn't have anyone her age, so she's going to talk. I explained that to them, and I'm like. They like, oh, what can we do, this and that. They will, you know, y'all know how black parents are. Like, y'all know that. So her and my sister was like, oh, you know, what black parents do. I ain't going to say it on camera, but y'all know what I'm thinking. And I'm like, that's not going to work. That's not how you get through to a child. Like, it's not how you get through. Anyway, like, also, and then we it went on from that to streaming on to about how, I was like, that's that slave tactic. Like, you know, how I used to treat the slaves and everything. And I asked her, I was like, why is it that black parents always have to, like, humiliate their kids? And she was like, oh, that's just how we was raised. And my my mama did it to me and my grandma did it to her. This and I'm like, why don't y'all just break that cycle? That don't get, that doesn't get mentally through to a child's head. So I'm telling them that I'm like, she like, okay, so what did we do? What should we do? What should we do? I'm like, personally, I never looked into it because I don't have kids. I don't want kids. I don't plan on having kids. So it's something for me, personally, I don't really care to dig deep into it. But I said, how about y'all go out and buy some books to read on how to raise a child? Like, just human behavior, children's behavior. And she like, read a book. Oh, you can't you can't read a book on how to raise a child, this and that, whoop de whoop de whoop whoop de whoop. And I'm like, it kind of pissed me off. Because I'm like, I'm like, bro, you're being ignorant. Like, I told her, I was like, you're being ignorant. It's not just about raising a child, it's about human nature. Treating a child like a slave and all that. You know, I'm, like I said, I'm not going to say it, but y'all, y'all, y'all know what I'm talking about. But if you treat a child like a slave and all that, it's not going to work. That kid's going to rebel. Constantly rebel, rebel. I told I was like, I knew kids that when I was growing up, they parents was doing that. You know, I, I, I received that kind of treatment, but I wasn't a bad kid and like that. Like, 
I had my mind on point. Like, you know, I got in trouble, of course. But I wasn't just one of them horrible kids that was just into stuff 24-7 and all that. But all the ones, they parents was doing the same type, you know, black parents. And it wasn't working. Some of those kids are in, in prison now. Some of them in and out of jail. Some selling dope. Some robbing. It's like, that's just, it just don't. That mindset of how to raise a child is not working. It's not clicking. So I told her, I was like, how about you read? She was, oh, no, no, you can't read your CD. So it pissed me off. And I was like, you're being ignorant. I was like, then I got, I got, I started thinking, I was like, why is it that blacks don't want to read? Black people don't, we don't want to read. Why is that? And she was like, oh, what do you mean? What do you, I'm like, is it because they believe that the quote unquote white man or Caucasian man wrote the book so that's why they feel like oh they're trying to trick me or something like that because that's how they was quote unquote tricked back then you know like like for example Christianity and all that was forced upon the Africans back in the day so that's why I'm like do they feel like is that is this something embedded in blacks is like where I don't trust you know this and that whoop de whoop or what because it's not making sense to me so she was like oh no you crazy this and that. I'm like why is that? She was like, a, a book can't teach you everything. I'm like, okay, that's true, but at the same time, I can learn from another person's mistakes by reading that book and then me going out and doing it myself. I was like, okay, tell me this. If, if I want to open a business, right, and this, I had this discussion with my dad, too. Like, It was like, oh, they was like, oh, you going to this and that, whoop de whoop you going to... Uh, you think you know everything from these books and all that, this and that? And I'm like, okay, tell me this. Wait, hold on. My hands, actually, I just realized that. Give me one second. Amber, don't slip out my hand because my hands are greasy. Uh, I know y'all probably fired me up, but I was ashy and I, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't been no better to that. Like I said, I ain't go to class. But anyways, back to the conversation. Why wouldn't, if I'm opening up a business on a book, let's say I'm opening up a, book, a business on how to sell shoes, right? And, and I'm reading a book on how how to open up a business about selling shoes. They're telling me that I I have to learn from making my own mistakes, this and that. I'm like, okay, which is true, but wouldn't you prefer to wouldn't you prefer to learn from that person's mistakes so you don't have to go through that mistake? Like that's the same thing of all dudes that go to prison and all day, oh learn from my mistakes. Okay. So you don't make those same mistakes. Okay, so I ain't doing that but doing that but in a book form. So what makes it so bad that I'm reading a book? I just never understood that. So she was like, oh, you um, book sense is this and that. You need common sense and these street sense. I'm like, okay. Once again, that pissed me off. I'm like, okay. I asked this. I gave her a, 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 a question. I gave her a question. I was like, okay. So why is it that everyone that has quote unquote street sense are broke? And everyone that has quote unquote book sense is smart. I mean, is rich, wealthy. Why is that? She couldn't answer me. She got quiet. I was like, it just doesn't make sense. I was like, all the people that that are successful in whether it's rap, all that. I, I use rap as a prime example because all of them, majority of them real rappers that like Master P who actually went through that uh, Nipsey hustle. All of them, they have street sense. But why is it that they read books? By them reading books, they got to where they are now. So, that's just one thing I wanted to ask. You know, I know I, it's my, my little rant. I went on this for about a while or whatever. But it's just something I wanted to know. Why is it that blacks decide not to read? They feel like reading. If, you, if like, like, problems up. I have a book. I have a bookcase that I'm looking at right now. People make fun of you for reading books. I never understood that. Oh, are you reading books? What? What you read? Read? You read? How is that bad? I'm reading books, dumbass. You rather go out and smoke weed and do all this bullshit? while well, I decide to stay in and read a book, and I'm I'm the one that's dumb. Come on, it don't make sense. That's just something I want to get off my chest. Like what? It, it don't make sense, bro. I don't get it. Like I really don't. Man, black people start reading books, bro. I promise y'all, we need to start reading books. We need to get on our um financial education that's what we need to learn like because that's the only way that's the only way i ain't gonna make it too long this i ain't gonna go too much in detail unless y'all want me to but 
I just feel like we should read more books, man. Our culture will be so much because we I just don't understand it. How we have so much the traits of us and everything with us like our ancestors is like I just don't understand it. I just don't understand it why our culture is where it is now when we're the ones who started everything. Like I just don't get it. So y'all make sure y'all rate, subscribe and comment. Follow me on uh Snapchat is gonna be right here. Uh I think the I think it's Twitter, Snapchat, IG, something like that. It's gonna be down here at the bottom. Make sure y'all follow me on there, bro, and uh subscribe, comment. How, how do y'all feel about it? And write in the comment section how y'all feel about whether blacks read or not and what why do y'all think that blacks don't read or African Americans don't read and so like I said, make sure y'all like, rate, subscribe, and comment. I'm out.